and your job was to inform on your fellow Lebanese. If you were in Lebanon, you would have been a dead man by now. You are lucky to be alive. And I, I hope they are listening. The Asians, you are a traitor to them, Adabuka, and you are a traitor to the Ghanaian people. You are a liar. People. You are just a liar. Somebody must have taught you to come and speak. A person of your caliber, you will rot in hell, I'm telling you. And you will rot in Guyana. No problem, man. We shall see. Right on, brother. Inshallah. Inshallah. You can do so nothing. So no further question, please. Okay, we'll meet outside. Right. Thank you very much. Thank if you. you are strong, let's meet outside. <laughs> I'll show you. Uh, Mr. Adabuga, yeah. you know me? Yes. Do you what, also know me? What is my name? You are called Riyadh. Riyadh. Yeah. What is my second name? Uh, Hozafe. Hozafe, that's fine. Uh, you stated to the commission here that uh, I, Riyadh, have been taking you around to show you some Asians. Yes. Can you tell me what you mean by Asians? Who are Asians? When I'm talking about Asians, I mean uh, uh, Lebanese, Syrians, I mean uh, Indians, and, and so on and so forth. Lebanese, Syrians? Yeah. Okay. So this is what you think Asians are. They are Lebanese and Syrians. Not only that, but uh, part of them. I mean, they come from Asia. Don't you know the meaning Asia? Uh, I would like to ask you, you stated in your testimony to the commission, one name, Wallace Bedema. Who is that? He was the chief operation officer. What is his rank? Major. Major. Isn't it Normal, normally, a soldier, when addressing an officer or calling an officer names, he calls his rank. Can we go to the point, please? This is the point. I mean, why didn't you use the major's rank? Just call him Wallace Bedema. That's not important. Call it's very important because I believe you, are in the, you were in the armed forces which taught you discipline. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll have to point out to you that you have 30 minutes for your cross-examination. Yes, sir. Yes, so please try and use it usefully so you don't complain later on. You didn't have enough time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, carry on. 30 minutes. 10.30, you have to stop. Uh, you told the commission that I have been taking you around to show you Asians together with Wallace Bedema. Is that true? That is not true. I'm saying that Wallace Bedema being the chief operation officer, he was directing the operations, and you were the one giving us uh, the tips as to where to locate these people. All right. I would like to come to my point you stated, too, in your testimony you said he would go and point the houses of those people who were hoarding this gold and diamonds. Is that correct? Yes. Fair enough. If those people, they were hoarding gold and diamond, why should you tell this Commission that uh, Wallace Bedema and myself we had to go to Bank of Ghana to get some samples. What I'm saying is that uh, what in this sense means they were dealing in illegal trading. That's what I mean. And uh, to be able to buy it from them, you need a front man who pulls as uh, somebody who is selling uh, this gold and diamond. And in the process, we pounce on them and then sack their houses. Is that not correct? Answer your question. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, anyway uh, when, when it's my time, I'll speak for myself, please. Um, you see, it doesn't make sense to me. When you are saying that we bo you bounce on them and you, find, you search them and you find gold. So what is the use of getting gold from, and diamonds from... 
uh, Bank of Ghana to set the trap for them? Well, I, I don't see any sense in that. We need an exhibit because uh, it's, uh, some of the people you told us to go and sell their house, houses, we found out that uh, uh, you had a boon to pick with them and that they were not having anything like gold or diamond. So in order to be able to ascertain the fact, we have to post a front man, and in the process, we know that this is exactly the trade they are dealing in. I've answered you. Uh, Adabuga, how many people would you allege or claim that I took you to? How many? Well, they are numerous because... Give me a number. Minus, plus, any figure, can you give me? Maybe 10 or more. But 10 uh, or more? Yes. Please, could you name me two? The first one was the Iranian brothers. Who? Iranian brothers. Do you Iranian remember? brothers? Yes. Who sent us there? Do you remember? Even we seized the Anizam patrol. <laughs> we see, do you remember we seized the Anizam patrol? Am I right? Do you know John Asi? Do you I'm know Aska Jamel? I'm asking you a question. Do you know Farah? You say I should name some. I'm I, naming more than okay. two. John Asi? Yeah. And uh, Irani Brothers? Farah. You know one man called Farah? No. Do you know one man called uh, Aska Jamel? No. You don't know? No. Okay. You could furnish those names to the commission for the commission to verify with those people what you are saying or for them to come and give, testify before this commission, if I ever went with you or took a penny from them to have them released or anything. What I'm saying is that after showing us those houses, you don't appear there. So they will not know that you are the one who was uh, ditching them. Uh, Adabuga, uh, where, do you, where are you now? No way. Norway? Yeah. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Please, let's, we are talking about gold now. What are you going uh, to my family for? Yes. Let's talk about this matter and finish. It is not finished. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's... Let me speak to the commission one. It's my turn, please. You are only here to answer questions. So do not ask me what to do. What to... And don't just... ask me of my family matter because this is not what I'm here for. I see. Uh, I would like to ask you, you have killed some civilians, children, with your mawak. Is that true? That is wrong. <laughs> you have killed a border guard official, isn't that? That is wrong. You want to s tell this commission you have never killed anybody? If I've ever killed, then it was sanctioned by your boss, Fly Lieutenant Rollins. It, it was what? It was sanctioned by him. Sanctioned by? Rollins, Fly Lieutenant Rollins. Let him come here and answer that. Uh, Adabuga, I'm sorry. I hope the chairman will not be upset with what I'm about to tell you. Are, you. are you Christian? I saw you swearing with the cross. Are you Christian? Yes, what about you? Are you a Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Do you fear God? Yes, what about you? Do you fear Allah? Inshallah. I do fear Allah. Okay, I also fear God. You fear God? Yes. Then Let one day, yes. you and I, we shall meet before God. Yeah. And you will have your day. I haven't concert. finished with you. Do you remember sending us to Tessano Club? Every evening we meet there and then you who pick the trail from there and go to these people's houses. Is it right or wrong? Uh, Adabuka, you are not here to ask me questions. I'm the one to ask you questions. But, but I'm, let me tell I'm helping you. you. I'm helping you to get to the point. Adabuka, you just came to this commission just to lie. You, uh, sir, I'm very sorry, but I have to say this. You have been sentenced in absentia uh, by death or firing squad yes. because you were a criminal. What criminal? You were photographing people and videoing people for them to be executed. Is it more cr uh, criminal than that? You think so? You stand there and uh, what video is, what, people what and then you, they torture them and kill them and then you go and sleep. Sir, is it is normal? This, 
is this fair we can go on with this exchange, sir? With ah, you are bringing the matter, so let's go. I'm just asking the chairman. Can we continue, sir? When I interrupt you, you always complain. So I'm, I'm giving you free range to Thank do you what you like. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Adabuka, the other day a lady came here, which you yourself, you were driving a Mowak. You killed her children at Labadi. And I heard her story. Have you said to question yourself, to have mercy, to stand and look for those people and say, I am sorry? I am saying that if I haven't done that, then, Mr. Chairman, you can uh, correct me. I stand for correction. Whatever I did, I came before the commission and I told them this is what happened. It was an accident. I didn't just drive to, on them. And I'm telling you, it wasn't a muak. It was a pinsgua. So you see that you are a liar. Uh, Adabuga, you are a criminal and a petty liar. And as I said, a day will come, you will have your punishment. Even by me discussing with you, you're too low for me. I ride high. I could not be taken anywhere. You will give your evidence. Yes, sir. I am not low. You, uh, Adabuga. I've been to your country for Middle East operations. Do you think anybody can go to Lebanon and do what you did here? You were not having any official position with the PNDC. You were not a soldier. Not asking you. you were not a lawyer. You were not a politician. You just came in. You had a, a, a stanza by yourself, a bodyguard and a pistol. You remember your Yamposa, and your job was to inform on your fellow Lebanese. If you were in Lebanon, you would have been a dead man by now. You are lucky to be alive. And I, I hope they are listening. The Asians, you are a traitor to them, Adabuga, and you are a traitor to you the government. You are Ghanian a liar. People. You are just a liar. Somebody must have taught you to come and speak. A person of your caliber, you will rot in hell, I'm telling you. And you will rot in Guyana. No problem, man. We shall see. Right on, brother. Inshallah. Inshallah. You can do so nothing. So no further question, please. Okay, we'll meet outside. Right. Thank you very much. Thank if you. you are strong, let's meet outside. <laughs> I'll show you. Uh, all right.